So I taped one in the back for you. That's going to be your temporary license and That's... your temporary registration. I put in your glove compartment. They're valid for 45 days. Okay. And within that 45 day time period, one of these documents will have you sign. And so that way we can go ahead and get the paperwork taken care of. So you get your, paper, your permanent ones mailed to you within that 45 day time period. Around, do a little walk around on the new 2021 Model Y, white. So let's note a couple of things. This is the performance model, so a little bit bigger wheels. We do have mud flaps on the front. I don't know if you can see the extra rear panel protection, but there is a, let's get in there. Yeah, you can see that line there. There's a, a bit of a covering there on the 2021. There is a minimal, um, really minimal, not really even a flap. Uh, another little thing that we discovered was that it comes with a USB stick for the sentry mode needs. And I didn't realize this is where it was, but this is where it is. Uh, okay. Don't even know how to open it. All right, here we can see in the new model wise, the USB stick is here and it does come with, let's, uh, let's see if we can read that there. Yep. 128 gigabytes and it is the tesla stick here so no need to buy your own it comes with a 128 a little tip it does not record sentry mode videos if that usb stick is here let me just take it out if this is removed then you will not be able to record your sentry mode videos and if it is plugged in it will record and save them so it does probably make sense to have two, like if you're downloading one one group of videos in the house, you might want to have the second one here in the car, but it does stick out a fair bit there in the glove box. So yeah, you could see some of the smaller form factor ones might might make a bit more sense. Here's the interior. We got the black and- We got a sunroof. And we got a sunroof. We are on a little quick test drive of the Model Y, just down to the end of my soy. You'll know what that means. And it's a pretty smooth ride. I mean, when I say smooth, I mean quiet, but it is definitely sporty. I'm coming from the 2013 Toyota Camry, and there's definitely some differences as far as comfortability of ride. This is much more of a sporty feel, much more of a go-kart, and you definitely feel the road and the kind of the grip of the tires, the road surfaces, I'd even say. You can tell when you're going over a little bump or whatever. That's one factor to consider with this. It's not quite a luxury ride. It's more of a go-kart race car type ride, which, you know, you might not be that into. We've got over here, we've got the inductive chargers. Those allow you to just place your phone down and get it charged up, assuming you don't have any uh, case on there that will prevent that here's the deep center console it's uh very spacious i like it it's also got a little rubber pad in there and look at this massive massive sunroof moonroof i guess it does not open but it is pretty big and i guess you can kind of see a few few of the trees up here so I look forward to being a passenger and looking up from time to time but won't be able to do that for now now one thing I'm noticing is it is pretty much single pedal drive I mean you do not need the brake pedal that whole stop right there was no brake pedal just the regenerative braking such stopping power let's just find a place here I'm gonna stop to walk through so just put it in a park, press this button, boom, goes to P, and then lets you get out. Okay, let's get out and do a little walk, walk around. We are on a little quick test drive of the Model Y, just down to the end of my soy. You'll know what that means. And it's a pretty smooth ride. I mean, when I say smooth, I mean quiet, but it is definitely sporty. I'm coming from the 2013 Toyota Camry, and there's definitely some differences as far as comfortability of ride. This is much more of a sporty feel, much more of a go-kart, and 
you definitely feel the road and the kind of the grip of the tires, the road surfaces, I'd even say. You, know, you can tell when you're going over a little bump or whatever. So that's one factor to consider with this. It's not quite a luxury ride. It's more of a go-kart race car type ride, which, you know, you might not be that into. Other things to note, we've got over here, we've got the inductive chargers. Those allow you to just place your phone down and get it charged up, assuming you don't have any case on there that will prevent that. Here's the deep center console. Uh, very spacious, I like it. It's also got a little rubber pad in there. And let me just go through here. And look at this massive, massive sunroof, moonroof, I guess. It does not open, but it is pretty big. And I guess you can kind of see a few, a few of the trees up here. So I look forward to being a passenger and looking up from time to time, but won't be able to do that for now. Now, one thing I'm noticing is it is pretty much single pedal drive. I mean, you do not need the brake pedal. That whole stop right there was no brake pedal. Just the regenerative braking gives such stopping power that you do not need to, you don't need to use that at all. All right, so let's, uh, Let's just find a place here. I'm going to give a little stop to walk through. So to put it in park, press this button, boom, goes to P, and then lets you get out. Okay, let's get out and do a little walk, walk around. And this is the five seater, not the seven seater. Ooh, got my first First bird action there. Here's the 21 inch rims. Now they are kind of causing a bit of a clearance issue with my driveway. It's not bad clearance there, but I guess it's just not enough. Let's see what's going on in there. We've got these, as the guy said, painted red calipers. There goes the walk away door lock. So as soon as you walk away, it does lock up. Now, I thought it shut the windows too. It's not doing that right now. Here's the back side, waiting on plates. Automatic hatch. And the shut, just press that guy. And let's come over. We've got cameras here. We've got cameras here. We've got front facing cameras, uh, barely. And up here, something facing up. But it looks like three separate cameras in there. So that's interesting. And actually there's supposed to be a driver camera. Yep, there it is. Okay. So let's have a, we'll have a peek in some of the windows here. Here's the back seat. We can send it down pretty aggressively. And you can do the same with the middle. We got a little armrest right there with some cup holders. First time that's been down. And I thought at first this was a two hand handle, but it's thumb and pinky. It's kind of the hang loose. That's what a door looks like. Got speakers all over the place. Okay, listen to the uh, sound of the door shutting. That's the back door. This is what we got on the front. The door wants to shut itself. Got some uh, water bottle storage in here. This is the uh, door lock and then the emergency, if, if you don't have any battery power lock, is right here. Let's shut this door. That works pretty good. Here's your tires. And 
Let's jump in. Let's jump in the driver's side. You notice the screen pops right up. And there we go. So, we'll get the seatbelt on. Kind of makes noise until all the passengers have their seatbelts on and it does detect the weight. I'll show you what I mean. I think I can maybe make it. No, not enough, not strong enough. There, see the seatbelt light just came on because it thinks somebody's in the back middle. So it does have weight sensors on the seats that do tell it, hey, if there's somebody sitting here, they need, they need a seatbelt. So we're gonna get it into drive. You'll see it up there, drive. And now all I need to do just get on the gas pedal. And that's the only pedal I'm gonna need. Blinkers I still haven't figured out. You tap it up once and it does it for a short period of time. Let me see if I can, if you really extend it. Oh, there it will go permanent. So you gotta really give it a press and then it will stay blinking. Okay, so it has two, two blinker modes, short, short blink and a long blink. Okay. Let's give it the long blink. Okay, we're looking safe. Nice turn there. And come through here and we'll be done with our little little drive around. While we're charging, we see Tesla logo be lit up in green. That's how we know it's working, which is a nice feedback. And then out to the car. Here's a quick note on the charging solution. This comes right out of the bathroom because I think we have too low of amperage on this outside plug. And here's the plug going into the car. So if we have a look here at teslafi.com, we can see the charging taking place. And we can see I finished the other day at about 50%. And through the night, we've brought it back up to about 63. Now this is on the slow 110 uh, type one charging. So it's, it's quite slow. They do say it's about four miles an hour. So based on what I could calculate from our local power charge, we can put in that value and see our total cost of charging. So we're already at $6. Uh, for a total of 12 hours of charging, 43 kilowatt hours. The last thing I wanted to do is see if I fit in here from a camping perspective. I am laying out here, I'm six foot two, and you can see where my legs end up. It's a little bit of a slant up here where the legs are, but that would all be evened out by some decent cushions. And we even have a little 12 volt charger back here, I think pillow would just go right here and you would close the top and you'd be fine so hope you enjoyed that and hope you enjoy your own tesla soon enough bye